In this video, we're going to go over the history of Roblox to make a wish. So for those of you who don't know what make a wish is make a wish is basically a nonprofit organization. And what they do is they just help to fulfill the wish of children in critical illnesses or that are in emergency situations. So you'll see a lot of times these kids, they'll have this wish and make a wish will try to make that wish into a reality. You'll see, you know, a lot of your favorite YouTubers might have had videos with make a wish kids because those kids wish to spend a day with their favorite YouTubers. Some kids wish to spend their day with Roblox. Roblox. And so traditionally, Roblox will actually invite them to the headquarters. They'll, you know, be able to meet all the staff, spend a day at Roblox. And it's very typical that most of them will get their own item that they can help custom design and even Robux if they do ask for it. So I thought it'd be a pretty good idea to go over all the Make-A-Wish kids that got their very own item. Now, not every Roblox Make-A-Wish recipient did get their very own item. Only six of them got their own item. There are probably a few more. We did talk about a previous Roblox Make-A-Wish kid and his name was PyPerson50. That was the very last video. That video did super well. He went on to have a very fraudulent Roblox career after his Roblox Make-A-Wish visit, which was very interesting to see. And you just wouldn't expect that. So that video will be linked in the comment section. I figured we'll look over all six items, you know, we'll look over who actually custom designed them, what their story is, what they're doing right now in life, how they actually got the item and, you know, what they're doing right now in the present. And most of them are all still playing Roblox. We got some really interesting stories. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the first item. So the first item is Dominus Azerlite. And the Dominus Azerlite was released onto the marketplace on August 25th, 2023. Now, what you'll notice is with a lot of these items when they first came out, that people were saying that they were going to be like the next big limited because obviously they have leaks, but they're actually for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And then people get really mad. And actually what's really kind of just crazy is that the kid who designed this Dominus, his name is The Mind Gamer, he actually was getting doxxed because people were so mad and so angry and they just wanted his dominus he was literally getting docked so that says a lot about the roblox community especially the roblox you know limited or trading community they're going ahead and doxing people just because they're mad that the limited is only for a make-a-wish kid and that they can't get it which is absolutely absurd to me he actually does have his own channel which i'll link the video down below in the description where he basically explains this all but just to summarize he actually ended up delaying his wish five years because he wanted to look forward to something right he wanted to be able to enjoy his make-a-wish item after he got out of the hospital and he basically Basically keeps explaining that this item was kind of like a symbol of hope for him and it's something he could actually look forward to owning but as to how he actually you know got the item he had a lot of zoom calls and meetings with roblox and then he was able to choose out of the upcoming roblox dominus concepts and then within the few weeks after he chose the concept he was able to customize it and that's where we get this whole like bluish theme we also get this smiley skeptic face on the front as well and so what's really cool is that he picked the bluish elements in the hat because they were meant to represent a bright light in dark times and simply hope even in the darkest time it was just a straight out inspirational amazing story a really cool fact you guys probably didn't know is that he had three names for this dominus that he wanted the first one was dominus luminaire dominus azer christ and Dominus Azerlite. And as we know, he went with Dominus Azerlite. And what's also really cool is that this item was released on August 30th. But in his video, the Mind Gamer actually explained that he didn't have a release date in mind. But what actually happened was rumors were starting to spread that the Dominus would actually be released on August 30th because the last sentence of his poem hinted of a blue sky. And on August 30th, the moon was supposed to be a super blue moon. And so he actually, funny enough, just went with it. He was like, screw it, let's go ahead and release it on August 30th and that's how it released on August 30th and I have amazing news that he is also healthy he's doing well from a health standpoint he's raised over three thousand dollars on his make-a-wish campaign which you guys can help out that will be on his video as well overall really cool story probably one of my favorites and it's so unfortunate to hear that he was getting little hate and literally being doxxed because he was sick and wanted a dominus and other people couldn't have that dominus the next item here is a very popular item. This is an item that a lot of you guys know. Probably a lot of you guys have this item as your dream item, especially you Roblox traders out there. I know you guys love the Dominus Frigidus, all right? The Dominus Frigidus is a beautiful item. And so the Dominus Frigidus was released onto the marketplace on March 24th, 2011. And what's interesting about the Dominus Frigidus is unlike a lot of these items you'll see is that other Roblox users were able to buy the item as well. There was actually 26 copies in stock that people 
were able to own. So there were 25 other owners besides of the Make-A-Wish kid, and he goes by the name Sethy Cakes. So to give a little background on Sethy Cakes, he suffered from a severe condition, which was called intestinal pseudo obstruction. Intestinal pseudo obstruction, I believe is how you say it. And so he was granted a wish from the Make-A-Wish Foundation, and his wish was to visit Roblox. So he went to Roblox headquarters, like most of the kids on this list, and he actually had a quite crazy story. So get this, all right, before he went to Roblox headquarters, right, he had a whopping, whopping 600 Robux in his Roblox account. 600 Robux to me and you probably seems like, yeah, it's a little bit of a lot, but it's not like something I would go crazy over. When he stepped out of the Roblox headquarters, okay, when he left, he was the first Roblox player to reach 1 million Robux, and he was able to buy a Dominus Frigidus later on to add on to that 1 million Robux. And I'll pop up this old blog post here and you can just see him, you can see his dad, and you can see he's with Shaletsky, which is a very famous Roblox admin. And the blog post posted on March 17, 2011 on the Roblox website basically talks about the first Roblox millionaire. I love how he designed the Dominus Frigidus, or at least played a very big helping hand in creating it. Basically, he was able to retexture a Dominus and this is kind of what he went for. It is probably one of the most popular dream items in the Roblox training community right now. And what's kind of crazy is Sethy Cakes broke not only one Roblox record, but two Roblox records with this item because Dominus Frigidus is also the most expensive Roblox purchase ever on the Roblox website. On December 3rd, 2022, the Ragdoll Engine creator, Mr. Bean Guy, purchased this Dominus Frigidus from a, another developer whose name was Borgist for 200 million Robux, which is now the largest limited sale in Roblox history by a landslide. What's interesting about Sethi Cakes though, is that he no longer owns the Dominus Frigidus. I believe he sold that and hey, I'm not gonna judge because I've done the same and hey, get your bag, Sethi Cakes, all right? Get your bag. I'm sure you're whipping around in a Rolls Royce or something right now. So absolutely just crazy story. Let me know your thoughts on this. If you enjoy videos like these, highly recommend subscribing, but just my opinion. With that said, let's get into the next one. Now, this one you guys probably don't know or don't remember is the Hollows Valk. And this one was exclusively given to Honor Tiger. Hollows Valk was published onto the marketplace on October 13th, 2023. And fortunately, Hollows Valk actually has his own YouTube video explaining on how he made this as well. I will also have that video linked down below in the description. Just to summarize it, basically, he starts off the video by talking about how he didn't want people to subscribe if they weren't gonna actually watch his videos in the future because he didn't want dead subscribers. So this guy's smart, okay? He knows what he wants. He knows how to play the YouTube game. So I just want to put that out there. This guy's smart. Not that I'm saying the other kids are dumb. I'm just saying this kid is smart. And so if you guys remember the pandemic, he got cancer at the start. So in 2020, and unfortunately, because of the pandemic, he could also not visit the Roblox headquarters because of the pandemic restrictions, which absolutely sucks. Because as you guys know, that's a very traditional thing for the Make-A-Wish Roblox kids to, you know, visit the headquarters, meet the admins. And that's something that they will hold dearly to them for the rest of their lives. And he unfortunately was not able to do that. So after a while of waiting, he chose that he would just basically make the Hollows Valk, right? He customized the Hollows Valk. And so he actually waited on the release date of the Valk because as you guys know, the first story about the Mind Gamer's Dominus, the Mind Gamer literally got doxxed because people wanted his Dominus. And so Honor Tiger explains in his video that he just, you know, waited to release it. He was patient because he didn't want to get doxxed. No one deserves to get doxxed, right? But especially Make-A-Wish kids, bro, like way too far, guys, way too far. But anyways, what's actually really cool about this item is that the original Hollows those Valk didn't have like a trail on it. So right now it has like a trail. It has like a really cool effect. And I believe in Shark Blocks' video, he talks about how Roblox actually changed it. Honor Tiger explained that they met two people named Dive and Sin, and they basically reworked it and added the trail and cool effects on it. And so if you actually look in the Hollows Valk item description, it actually has the words Dive and Sin in it to give shout outs to Dive and Sin. Roblox quite literally went back and changed it to add these trails in, which I think is really cool. And even better, he actually beat cancer. So absolute dub right there. The next item here actually shocked me when I saw it because I remember when this item first came out and I know you guys probably won't believe this if you did remember, but it's been six years, man. It's been six whole years since this item came out and I feel like it just came out like two days ago. I mean, I was so young and I mean, I still am very young, but it's absolutely crazy how fast time flies, but enough of that yapping. This is Ultra Goat's Ultra Commando. This was released on the Roblox Marketplace in May 15, 2018 and the story has kind of an interesting twist. Ultra Goat had this form of cancer 
cancer called Hodgkin's lymphoma. I hope I'm saying that right. And he did beat it. So his Make-A-Wish item was the Ultra Commando. And so this was a very interesting item because at first when it came out, it wasn't actually a limited. It was just a normal item. You couldn't trade it. It's a very cool looking commando. And I remember a lot of people thought that it was going to be, you know, a limited when it first came out and a lot of people could buy it, but it was actually Make-A-Wish item and they're very disappointed, yada, yada. It actually later became a limited because Ultra Goat actually asked Roblox to make it a limited because he thought it would be cool. And it is up there on one of the rarest Roblox limiteds just for the fact that it only has one owner. The only other Roblox limiteds to have one owner is the Roblox tab, which if you guys want a video on that, I will love to make a video on that. But basically there's like a bunch of different Roblox tablets. It's a whole nother entire video. And this might make some of you guys mad. And I'm sorry if it does, it, it might rub some people the wrong way. But on June 7th, 2020, it was traded to UC Unknown for a Dominus and Furnace because Ultra Goat decided to quit Roblox. And he was like, well, I'm quitting Roblox. I just want to, you know, let people trade this item. I want to leave it in circulation. He didn't just want it to die with his account, right? He wanted people to be able to trade it around and enjoy it. And a lot of people got angry. A lot of people were like, yo, like you made a custom item with Roblox, like, and you're just going to trade it away just like that. That's absolutely crazy. What's really crazy is that the new owner, UC Unknown, hasn't traded it whatsoever. And he actually has created a group dedicated for the Ultra Commando and is excessively bragging about it. Others have described him as egotistical. And UC Unknown, again, has not traded this item whatsoever whatsoever. If you want my opinion, I think Ultra Go, you know, obviously has the right to quit Roblox. Like it's cool. He's moving on to, I'm guessing, bigger and better things. That's obviously amazing. Do I think he should have traded that item? Eh? I feel like it is so much more rare and so much more cooler than the Dominus and Furnace. The Dominus and Furnace is a really cool Roblox item. Do not get me wrong. But what's actually really sad is that he gave his Ultra Commando and more items for the Dominus and Furnace. So it wasn't just the Ultra Commando. If it was just the Ultra Commando for the Dominus and Furnace, like, yeah, okay, I, I would kind of understand that. But he gave Ultra Commando and other items as well for the Dominus. And to be honest, the Dominus and Furnace is on sale for 90 million Robux right now. I think he could have sold the Ultra Commando for a lot more Robux. However, if he was thinking of possibly selling the Ultra Commando for real life money, that would be very hard because he's the only owner. So it would kind of make sense if you trade to a less, you know, hyped item like a Dominus and Furnace where there's 26 other owners, it would be a lot easier to eventually sell your items for money because, you know, I, I don't really want to be that guy, but he can make a big, big bag off his limiteds. This hat is actually a very low key slept on hat. I actually didn't even know that it was a make a wish hat and it's actually kind of old as well. You know, this was published on the Roblox catalog on June 6, 2017. It is called the diamond hat and the make a wish kid that created the diamond hat is diamond pistol 25. This is one of the more chill items out of all the different items. All the different items are like Dominuses or like Valkyrie helms commandos, but this is just a very simple hat. It looks sick. It has antlers sticking out of it. It's kind of a more original, just normal hat. I couldn't exactly find much on Diamond Pistol 25, but we do know that he did visit the Roblox headquarters. I did find this old tweet in May 19th, 2017, where this ex Roblox admin, I believe her name is Teresaurus, tweeted this picture of Diamond Pistol 25 with, I'm guessing that's his dad, and her in the Roblox headquarters. I believe they were on some type of Roblox stream because Roblox used to stream on Twitch pretty actively, for those of you guys who don't know. It's actually really cool because all of these people, maybe except Ultra Goat have been online recently. Diamond Pistol was actually just online three days ago, which is pretty cool. And we have another Valkyrie helm to go over. It is called the Sinister Valk, and this was published to Roblox on January 11th, 2019, and it was awarded to Emerald Ite. And just to keep things simple, I'm gonna just call him Emerald. And so Emerald was actually online when I was looking at his profile. We could possibly assume he went to the Roblox headquarters, and he is also the only owner of this item. And that was pretty much all I could find on Emerald. I believe he does have a Twitter, but he hasn't tweeted since 2022, but he is still actively playing Roblox, which I think is really cool. Hopefully we can get just one or maybe even two of the six people in this video to comment on the video. That'd be absolutely insane. I just want to kind of look over the history of Roblox Make-A-Wish. You know, there obviously have been a lot of positives. There's been a few negatives as well. I still can't believe that people were literally doxing Make-A-Wish kids over their items. That's just uncalled for. I mean, that's just mind blowing to me. Let me know your opinions on that. I really hope you guys do enjoy this type of content. The last video I made on exposing Pie Person 50, another Make-A-Wish video, did really well compared to my past videos. So I'm excited to kind of go down this route, see where it takes me. 
keep working hard and uh yeah i do read all comments by the way comment down below any cool items with like cool roblox stories or cool roblox events that you remember from the past or even from the present and i will gladly make a video on them if i think it can be in a video so i will see you guys in the next one thank you for watching peace out everyone please let me get to 100k